Up next, the Hurricane Shane Helms returns to the show to discuss all the televised shows across the wrestling landscape, as well as upcoming UFC cards. And you can check out the rest of this interview on video at patreon.com slash Conan and Conan.me. What wrestling have you been watching lately? Uh, dude, I've been watching it and everything because I started a new gig with Fight TV where we do a show called the Primetime uh, Pro Wrestling Report. So well, what is up- everything? Okay. Everything, man. Uh, the okay, only thing it, I don't it, really it, watch is uh, Ring of Honor right now because they're not really putting out anything. Yeah, new. they're doing like a personality profile. Yeah, yeah which is which is uh, is something. It's better than nothing. Yeah. But um, okay, let me let me go. I'm gonna go to a couple. Companies. I'll give you my older shows. I'll give you my older shows. Uh, I watch Dynamite first. I watch right. Impact second. I watch SmackDown and then I watch Raw. All right, you don't yeah. watch NXT. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, okay, all right. So, so NXT would be third. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go through a couple things, right? And I'm gonna ask you a couple questions on each company and maybe a couple performers, just to hear your your take. All right? all right. NXT, give me the good and the bad. What you like, what you don't like. Um, Karrion Cross is the uh, probably the best thing on the show right now. Uh, I like Io Shirai as far as what the women are doing. Um, she's had a couple really good vignettes. Uh, I like what Cameron Grimes is doing. I think Damian Priest is doing some good stuff. Is he, let me ask you a question. What is your connection with Cameron Grimes besides you're both from North Carolina? Did you in any way train him or anything or no? I trained with him a little bit. I wouldn't take the credit for training him. I, I worked He's a with good his worker. Dad. Yeah, yeah, his, uh, his uh, dad was a, a Omega original. And um, actually, you know, since the- uh, What was his dad's who's name? His, who's his dad? He wasn't somebody you would know. His, his right. name was but Tracy. But throw the name Cameron. anyways. What? Uh, I think he worked as Brimstone, something Ooh, some shit like that. I just watched yeah, I've heard of that. Yeah. Heard uh, a little softball. But, um, and so actually, you know, there, today was, uh, what, yesterday or the day before was the anniversary of uh, Undertaker throwing Mick Foley off the cage. We were actually at uh, Cameron Grimes' house watching that Me Man Jeff all those years ago because his dad had gotten the pay per view and our broadcasters, none of us could afford it. So we would all get together and watch it. We were actually at Cameron's house that he was probably fucking three years old. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's my only connection with him. Uh, I think they're doing some some cool stuff with the tag teams as far as bringing Brazango back. I know that y'all's tag team, y'all yeah. like, oh, y'all used to like him back. Yeah. Um, but anything you don't like about the show? Oh, uh, it's very dark. It's darkly lit and that damn. Yeah, it like, is very from dark. An aesthetic, from an aesthetic standpoint, I don't like that at all. You know, you watch Monday Night Raw last night and it's all colorful and it just adds more energy to it. NXT just seems very, very. It is very dark. Uh, what very couch Jewish compared to pay per view. Yes. Uh, what do you like? What do you don't like with uh, uh, SmackDown? Um, I like the Bray Wyatt stuff. I like the kind of he's going to have the multiple personality type gimmicks. I don't like that he's now in a non title match with Braun Strowman. Fucking non title matches. I talked about this on Twitter a couple weeks ago, and a lot of various people agreeing, disagreeing, whatever. Non title matches make absolutely no fucking sense anymore. Especially, they never, especially when the guy that doesn't have the title wins 99%. Of they time. never really fucking did make any sense, you know, right. only under special circumstances, but they're really in 2020, nobody gives a shit about non title matches. So that make, gives me no incentive to watch that. Um, I like Sasha Banks. Uh, I think I think the fans are itching for her to turn on Bailey at some point and get that baby face run. What they're she's always doing. doing that. They're always doing that. Yeah. Here, her and Bailey are gonna fight. They almost fight. They do fight, and then they bring them back together. It's like they they've done that a lot, Shane. Yeah, uh, but I think it's uh, it feels like it's got a little bit better story at this time. Right? I don't know for whatever reason. Um, as far as they Nakamura and Cesaro always always fucking steal the show. Although they get very little credit, it seems. Um, what I don't like, though, I don't like the, uh, you know, they brought AJ over and they, you know, we supposed the draft was supposed to be solidified and now it's not solidified again. So they're doing that, switching people back and forth. Um, but I don't know. SmackDown, like I said, Raw, uh, WWE, uh, the, the main roster seems just really just depleted. And it is. It doesn't seem that way. It just fucking is. It's just really depleted at the moment. Right. Did you see yesterday's show? I watched bits and pieces of it. I, I found it kind of hard to get through. Yeah, no, I thought I had a better flow than usual. Okay, AEW. I thought last week's. I thought last week's was excellent. Last night, the, last, last night, night had a good. It had a good flow. It had a lot of shit going on at the same time. Uh, there's nothing I'm super interested in, but it had a lot of a, a, a much better flow. Um, it's AEW. just hard because Drew fucking McIntyre, like he had this really organic. Uh, 
you know, just ha- uh, how he moved up from mid card to, to where he was, his position. And, and it was organic. Some of it was creatively driven. You know, I, I know that because I was in some of those meetings. Some of the things they did uh, were by design. And now that he's got the belt, there's no fucking audience for him to really soak it into. And it's just. And, it's the, really and, and, and let me tell you the thing about him, Drew, man. bro. He looks like a champion. He talks like a champion. He wrestles like a champion, bro. Yeah. He's great. And the bad thing is that they've destroyed Dolph so much that nobody thinks he has a chance against him. But if you watch Dolph, he's still killing it on the mic and he's mm-hmm. still killing it in the ring. He was selling from like, remember how Kurt Hennig used to sell for Hogan back in the day with all those oh, flip. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, how yeah. Dolph was selling yesterday. Yeah. Dolph is one of those guys because he doesn't have the mystique of right. coming from Japan or he didn't do anything outside. He doesn't have outside mystique. WWE, I don't think, still realize, even to this day, what they have in Dolph Ziggler. Like, if he could, at some point, did the Christian thing where he left for a couple years and came back, that would that would help him even more. But then they start throwing bigger money at him because they don't want him to do that. Yeah. And so he k- takes the money, you know, and yeah. I understand yeah, that as well. Definitely super underutilized. Um, uh, okay, AEW. Uh, AEW is doing some really good stuff. They do need to... Uh, <laughs> Uh, I know Jimmy Corderas is always on the referees. That's where they do do a lot of silly stuff with the referees that kind of take me out of the uh, out of the match sometimes. Uh, but I love what he did with Orange Cassidy. Uh, his stuff in Jericho has been fun. Jericho is the biggest star in the business right now, uh, hands down. I like what Cody's doing with the TNT title. Uh, their tag team division is probably the best tag team division uh, going. Uh, now that they got FTR, uh, FTR and their match with uh, SCU last week was, was really damn good. Um, I don't understand something. Why do they keep that belt? Isn't finished, is it? That TNA belt? No, uh, it isn't finished. It was, what yeah. is the purpose of having a belt that's not finished? They well, I mean, I, I think the idea was that it was going to be finished, but the pandemic slowed it yeah. down, and because they'd already said we're going to do it, they, they're going ahead and putting it out there yeah. uh, just to have something instead of nothing. Yeah, Here's another unfinished. thing I don't understand. I don't it is ugly right now, though. Right now is like yeah, thing. but I, I don't I don't understand. Um, because to me, it makes no fucking difference. And they made a big deal of it, the rankings. Yeah, I, I don't know. I think that's kind of a distracting distraction. Yeah. I, I, the rankings, I'm okay with at times. The records, I don't really care about. You know, the yeah, thing the of, records the thing, with the rankings. Yeah, the records with the rankings. It's like, and then they're going to reset them every year anyway. That doesn't, doesn't <laughs> really do a lot for yeah. me. You know? but, but, so, yeah. Plus, too, everybody's talking about what a big star Sammy is. And he's been a great addition to the show. And every time he walks out, his record stinks. It's like yeah. <laughs> it's like he's like two and eleven or something. You're like, why is this guy? Like, why, why does he even have a match? You know. It's yeah, like, just, and, and not only that, yeah. Shane. I just let me tell you this. It just reinforces the fact when you see somebody like Sammy Guevara, who is over and is talented, and is two and eleven, that wins and matters don't really matter that much. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, but too, I think you always need you always need to keep in mind that you're going to have new viewers watching, and a new viewer that sees a guy that's two and eleven, they're right. going to be like, "This guy's fucking trash." You know, if you <laughs> like, turn like, yeah. on UFC yeah. and see a guy that's two and eleven and he's getting a fucking title shot, you don't see yeah. that. So you always yeah, have. But to that, but that's my point. It's not necessary because it's not a real fight. So yeah. why are you putting that up there? Two, you know? two, yeah. two things that people do not care about: they don't care about the records, and they don't care about the camera being in the shot. They, they don't care about the camera being there. That's like, that's just, that's, that's just two things people don't care about anymore. And it's like, it's funny how you know, some of these companies are trying to, I don't know, <laughs> trying try to fight against that reality sometimes. I don't know. It's crazy. So, um, I just think they do have a lot of talent that really isn't ready for TV. A yeah. little bit, a little bit of the buddy system that it's like, yeah, you're my friend, you're in here, and they're going to figure out that that isn't good business either, but that's for them to figure out. Um, what do you think about, uh, have you watched anything from Impact? Yeah, I love I love what Moose is doing. Moose is my favorite thing. He's one of my favorite things in the business right now. Going you, and uh, bringing you, back that big TNA championship, and now and now that they don't have an Impact World Champion, I would run with him, proclaiming himself as 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 far as they can push that. I, I would have them doing that. And what's funny is that in the dress room we have this inside joke where I don't know where it started or how it started, but he says that if he fought Mount. Floyd Mayweather, okay? So he says that he can uh, beat him up, okay? So just so you know that when you're on Twitter or you see him, because that's kind of like a locker room thing that we got going with him. I always put him over, but the uh, majority of the locker room buries him. 
<laughs> and he gets you, you think, mad, which is funny. If he grabbed Floyd Mayweather, you don't think he could choke him to death? I said I back him up. I okay. say I'm with him, but most of the locker room isn't, and they rile him up, okay, you know, which is the funny part. Yeah. Did you see yeah, that right. it, it came out today that they're uh, bringing in Anderson and Gallo's impact? Oh, is that, is that legit? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's a good uh, – that's a good grab for them. So, yeah, like I tweeted yesterday or the day before. It's so weird anytime I tweet anything. But I was like, Impact seems to be the one company that's gaining some momentum during all this. Nobody else is gaining any fucking momentum whatsoever, losing it, in fact. But they just. Uh, no, I they think just NXT's, got, getting some, NXT's doing a little bit better. No, nah, nah, not at all. Not as far as momentum. They're losing their identity. You know, they were the separate. Bro, they just, they, they they just they beat AEW in the reading. They just beat AEW. Yeah, they just beat AEW in the reading. They've been actually had a good four week run here. Yeah, but I'm talking about like the total numbers for that Wednesday night. Are, are the total numbers are always kind of the same? It's just some people might watch that, some people watch that. Winning one week to me isn't momentum. I'm talking about sustained momentum. Momentum. They've lost their identity uh, ever since. Uh, they've had WWE guys showing up on the show, Charlotte showing up on the show, other people showing up. So, um, and like they're not like getting well, any bigger. Me, they're shame. not getting any bigger. Impact is growing. Like they just had that deal. Like I said, with all these new channels showing up, uh, they're bringing in newer talent. NXT is not bringing in newer talent. They they aren't expanding anywhere. So, uh, I mean, yeah, they had a good week of uh, uh, ratings and sure, but uh, like I said, I still think Impact's had the most momentum during this pandemic era of any company. Um, have you been watching NWA? Mm -mm. No, I keep that. I keep up with that on Twitter. Like that's on YouTube or some shit, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I don't think they're even doing shows anymore. They're doing like um, some shit called Carnyland. I don't know what the well, fuck they suspend, that is. They, once the Lagana thing happened, they said they were suspending operations temporarily or whatever. And I guess, but bro, their shows were good right before yeah, the I've pandemic. Seen, I've seen clips. I hadn't watched. I don't think I watched any show in its entirety, but I'd seen some clips because they had stuff. really good talkers. Like um, what's the Eli? Name? Eddie, what's the Eli, name? Eddie King? Eli Smith. Drake's their best talker. No, no, their best talker is the, the English guy. What's his name? Nick. Oh, Nick, Nick Aldis. Aldis. Yeah. He's a fucking beast. Uh, Eli, the, I don't think he's better than Eli Drake, though. Yes. Not Eddie, on Eddie Kingston's uh, killing it over I there, too. But anyway, Eddie. Eli, Eli's great, but it's a different promo. Yeah. And so Eli and him are great, both of them. Uh, and so's Eddie Kingston. Really good. That The guy that does the high yai karate, whatever the fuck his food, <laughs> what's his name? Remember the guy comes down and he's got a question mark and he goes, hi, yeah, karate. And he's got some manager with him, like a handler. The guy that used to be the, um, he was an impact for a while. He is the question, right? Ain't that his name? Question mark? No, no. But what was his, what was his name in WWE? Um, no, are you talking about fuck, uh, the guy that did, he was the Miz's uh, stunt double. Yeah. What's his name? Oh, Sandow. Uh, yeah. Sandow. Sandow comes out with that karate guy and they're very funny. Yeah. Uh, um, but they got a lot, of, and there they got this wild character, Zacky, Zickies, Dickies. I don't know what it's fucking. Yeah, look like somebody out of the nineties and shit. He's actually very funny too. They they got a good show. Yeah. Uh, th is there any uh, any talk of them doing new stuff, or are they just is this one of those, uh, suspended, which is, ends up being permanent thing? I don't know. I I don't really know what happened over there, Joe. You're saying that they suspended operations, right? That's what they said after uh, Lagana left. Uh, they were temporarily suspending operations. Yeah, but 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 uh, they'll probably come back, bro. They don't need Lagana to run the fucking company. I don't think he ran the company, but I think he was the guy that was putting out a lot of the content. He was doing a lot of what you know. You know how Borash was kind of a one man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was, a, he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Lagana. Yeah. Those was guys aren't easy to find. That's for damn sure. So if that's no. what he was doing. Yeah, yeah that that's going to be hard to be to re, to replace. Shane. Question: Why was I not or Disco asked to shout you out on your 100th or 50th anniversary or whatever it was? My 150th anniversary. I'm not that old. Uh, the, your your show's anniversary. What was it? The 50th episode. Uh, episode yeah, 50, 50. Yeah. I was gonna send you a late one on 50 on the 52nd episode, and I'm. Yeah. <laughs> That would, so, have been, that would have been more apropos. You I know that, rib. right. I was going to do that as a rib without you even knowing it. <laughs> and then I get into Iran and I forget. So I just want to hey, wish you a happy anniversary right there was now actually on your somebody, 50th anniversary show. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. There was actually somebody that sent me one and then I forgot that they did and I didn't send it to JoJo. And then they were like, hey, man, I thought you were going to use it. I can't remember who the fuck it was. Yeah. Well, hey, have you guys seen the Fight Island, uh, the, you, you, the <laughs> UFC trailer? For Fight Island, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, I saw have that. You, have you seen it, Shane? No, 
Play it. Hey, Joe, I sent it to you. Play it. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's the art stream. You can do all these weird, cool. Joe's things. only been doing this like three years. <laughs> 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 Gentlemen, I know you'll be back Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. That <clears throat> I saw the I saw the other one, but um the one Dana put up. But let me just say this, uh uh um Shane, it's been incredible because during this um coronavirus, the Ferguson the Ferguson Gagey, the uh, Poirier Hooker, and the We versus Joanna, those fights have been incredible. You know, we've seen some great fights, and I'm super pumped for this fucking fight island. Yeah, I like it. I like MMA without a, a, an audience there. You know, you yeah. get, you pay attention more. Not having an audience doesn't. Pro wrestling is the only thing that bothers me without an audience. I can watch anything else without an audience and be fine. Right. Let me just say this. Mickey Gall, who was actually supposed to show up on our show once and no-showed, and for that, he will always have heat. He also has mega heat for his entrance song, Mickey, which sounds like a cheerleader song. That- yeah, you need to be. He, he deserved to lose. <laughs> Yeah, that, that means that's you can't you Did can't you, go you to combat fighting with that and just and, and expect to win. Have you never I've heard the song that. before? I've heard the song. But it's like, yeah, it's it like sounds from the seventies or something. Yeah. Sounds very sounds very corny yeah. to me. Let me it's just MTV. say that it's MTV. That's, music, it's not something Joe. I would walk out to. It's oh, like a bunch not. of girls. It sounds like a bunch of teenage girls going, "Hey, Mickey, we, uh, oh, I, Mickey I, what the fuck they were saying?" I was like, "Mickey, oh, you know, wait a minute, just following the lyrics." All right. But it works. It works as a heel. As a heel is perfect for him. Well, he, it's supposed he to got, be a heel. He got heat for that. With that, the, if that's what he was going for, he got it. Let me also say that I love the fact that um, he, Harry, lost to a, he lost to a guy with no corner, <laughs> right? And I love the fact that his girlfriend gave him zero advice. He actually gave her advice and told her to put the bag of ice on his head. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, uh, but I love- <laughs> and then he cuts a promo on the media afterwards. Like this is your moment. Like, uh, yeah, yeah. He that never awesome. works out well when they attack the media because the media is going to go, okay, they're going to go, yeah, shake their head, and then they're going to bury him the next day. Yeah, I will say this, bro. In the third round, I love the way that he just walked Gal down, showed no respect, and was just throwing power shots, bro. Yeah, Magal's cardio in those uh, later rounds it hasn't been hasn't been that good. He's yeah, he's, he's a good starter, but and he doesn't like start off fast. He knows his tank's going to empty, so yeah. he can't really attack. Like I, I feel like he wants to. He's trying to conserve, and but there's just that gas tank isn't there. And and I think Shane Perry knew that. That's why he kept bringing him down and making him work and tiring him out more. Yeah, did you see that guy hit that arm triangle from the bottom? Yeah, that was pretty. I didn't even know what had happened. I thought that yeah. he, he got out of it. Sure. Yeah, he got out of that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Who do you got in the uh, Kamara Usman G- uh, Burns? Wait, wait, before we before we get to that, please tell me what can you tell me about that awesome Poirier Hooker fight? Man, they just fucking went at it. They just did not stop. But <laughs> like, uh, uh, if uh, Hooker's cardio could have been a little bit better, I'm surprised. I'm surprised that he got pieced up because he was supposed to be the better striker, I guess. But. Uh, somebody bro, forgot he to tell, he, forgot he to tell Poirier that because Poirier landed almost at will. Bro, remember that one time you had him up against the ring and he hit him with like a ten piece, like a ten punch combination, and it hit him with each one. Yeah, was it? Are uh, you talking about bro. Hooker landed or Hooker yeah, got Hooker, hit? Hooker, Hooker landed. Boom, boom. I'm like watching a, it right now. I'm watching it like right at now. the end of the second he round, the the second came back. or third. It looked like Poirier was done because uh, yeah. Hooker, Hooker landed some good shit. Hooker's a badass, bro. Yeah, so uh bro, was, think about think about this. Oh, but here's the here's the thing you gotta understand too, though. Is Dustin Poirier, did you watch Poirier and Gachi? Justin Gaethje? Mm-hmm. Did you okay? So if you I mean probably don't remember the fight, but bro, this is what I, I when when Poirier <laughs> went to fight this guy and they, people were giving this guy Hooker a chance, I was like, it's like he sure is it he he was touching up Gaethje just like he was was this guy, like volume wise. Like he is no fear. Right. You know, that's what they do. The UFC has been doing a good job here of 
putting on entertainment, like good, really yeah. good fights. Because Dana, does, you can tell, he does not want to waste these top draw guys with no crowd. And he's just, you, you, that's why you, you can't find a fight for Connor. Can't find a fight for Masvidal because he doesn't want to. He doesn't want to waste this. Bro, and, it's like and, let me, seeing, and, and let me tell you, know, you another thing. That that fucking lightweight division, that's stacked and packed, bro, between Ferguson and Gagey, Khabib, Connor, you know, Poirier. I mean, right. that. But he's giving been, away a Gagey and, and Khabib fight with no fans. And I just don't think he wants to give out give away any other top guys to, to, to no fans. Miga, you got Cormier and Miochis, but that's a third, the third one. But like I, I doubt John Jones. Then that's what all these fighters are having problems now. They're saying they're not giving us enough money to fight. It's like yeah, because there's no crowd. We don't want to waste you guys in a fight with no crowd. Like Mazadal supposedly is being offered like less than what he was offered to fight for uh, the, against Nate Diaz, and he's like, why, why am I getting less? It's ridiculous. I just I just beat it, guys. I should be getting more. It's like we don't we don't have it, and it's like so until like you know I mean this is. This is UFC until we get the vaccine, I guess. But like, it, uh, until we get crowds back, th- 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 I mean, I'm not complaining because the cards are great. I mean, you just look, there's, there's always three or four strong fights on every card, so it's just like it's good entertainment, you know. But I mean, it's okay. It's, let, let, let's, get, let's get some predictions for Ju- July 11th. What's the uh, what? What is it? Whitaker Usman. And- okay, Usman, 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 and, Usman and, Burns. and Burns. Yeah, I get it. Wow. But I was I'm surprised that Burns kicked the, the, the tattooed. Uh, Woodley so easily though I I, I I was surprised at that. Yeah, I think he's gonna, gonna, Usman is a safe bet, but uh, I might change it to Burns as we get closer because Burns is on a on a damn tear, you know. So um, if uh, Usman doesn't if he doesn't control the pace, you know, uh, it wasn't like he didn't get hit. He lost a couple rounds to um, who's your boy Kobe? You know, he did lose a few rounds in that fight. That fight was closer than uh, people remember. But if you look at how bad Burns beat up Woodley, Woodley. I mean, Woodley got smoked, and like, and Usman, Usman kind of controlled Woodley too. But I think if you compare the two fights, Burns just ate Woodley's ass. And and that's another thing I haven't even heard anything of Colby Colbington. No, I think uh, yeah. who, who, somebody he's supposed to fight somebody. I forget who at yeah. some point, or at least he's he's trying to talk it up. Yeah, but he wants more money too. All these there's a handful of guys that just will not come down on their price, and they're not going to fight. Yeah. I tell you which uh, one's going to be interesting. Uh, Uriah Hall and uh, who, uh, who's your boy Conan, the Cuban, the Cuban damn Incredible Hulk? Oh, Romero, Romero. Yoel. Romero. Yeah. Uriah Hall and the Romero might be good. Yeah. <laughs> so, what do you think about uh, so, Volkanovski and Holloway? Uh, I like Volkanovski. He's hot. Holloway's not as Holloway's lost a couple of fights lately. I, I'm not back in that. That'll be tough. Yeah, that'll be tough. Peter that was, Jan against that, that, was, bro, oh, yeah. that was a that was a great great fight. The first one they had, yeah. You know, um, that's a tough fight. I'm gonna go with Alexander. Yeah, I think too. that Max Holloway is like you know these boxers when they've been in a lot of wars and they're just yeah. not the same. I just think that's what's happened to Max. Could be almost yeah, like you go happened. with Alexander because you can't pronounce his last name. <laughs> yes. Uh, what's this guy's name? What's the other guy named from Hawaii? The 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 the, the guy that was a champion in two divisions. BJ Penn. BJ Penn. BJ, remind me of BJ Penn. Remember how BJ Penn was a monster, and then at the end he was kind of like he'd been in a lot of wars, and he just wasn't the same guy. Kind of, you know what I'm saying? That's how oh, I kind of see. Do you see why he had to retire? <laughs> he went. He went on a big skid for a long time, and they just Wait, not, not, him back. Not to mention that. Do you know why he's retired now? He can't even fight anymore. Why, why no. won't even let him fight? No. Bro, he got in a street fight. Oh, I right? saw him. Yeah. And the guy dropped him and knocked him yeah. out. Yeah. And like it was funny too because they showed it afterward. They showed the they showed the clip where BJ was like getting the is, is on top of the guy and like you know getting and there was like, oh my god, BJ's getting street fights. But then it took a few days before he showed the first part of the clip where the guy dropped him with a with a cross hmm. to the jaw. Yeah. Yeah. You know, he was trying to settle the guy down, the guy sucker punched him and dropped him. And is Dana White's not gonna let him fight anymore. Okay, so the Aldo fight. That's, that's an old school territory gimmick. If you lose a bar fight, you can right. It's right. Bill Watts, right? right. <laughs> yeah, okay. you, can't, you can't win the fight the bar. You're not going to put you in the ring, right? <clears throat> yeah. Uh, Aldo fight. Is that Aldo and Yan? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Yan. I got Yan. Yeah. Yeah, so I'll go take Yan too. I think what Yen about, um, to actually destroy him. Go ahead. Uh, that's, about um, it. that's about it for that card. Andrade and, and Rosa Numanjan is. I'm uh, Andrade. Uh, you would like to think that Rose would make this comeback. Is is Andrade the one that dropped her on her head the first time? Is that the same girl? 
I'm not sure. Who slammed on her head and took the title? She she beat Rose and then she went to uh, she went and lost the title and got damn smoked. But uh, let me see because I can't remember right now. Yeah, all um, these damn names. So. Yeah, uh, yeah, against Andrade. Yeah, she. Uh, mm. it, it, it actually says, "Listen to this." K.O. Slam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She slammed her around yeah. on the damn yeah. head. Uh, I feel like Rose is good enough that she'll, uh, she'll have a better game plan this time. So I might take Rose on that one. I'm going to take her, too. Let me see. Those are then the- Andrade went over there and got knocked the fuck out, right, by the, yeah. the champion is. Yeah. yeah. And the fuck out is correct. Yeah. <laughs> Quick, too. Like, fucking 30 seconds or something, I believe. Yeah. But that girl, the champion, is the best, too. I, I think that she'll smoke Rose. We- so. Yeah, the Chinese yeah. girl, she's yeah, fucking she's ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. She's mean too. Yeah, yeah, she's yeah. mean. She's like, you know, yeah. I like her. I like to be. She's like, yeah. she's like all serious. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 yeah.